Hi, I'm Liz with Liz Toth Properties powered by eXp Realty. I'm a residential real estate agent in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today's buyer tip is what do you need to know about saving for a home in 2024? It might be a little bit intimidating to think about what do you need to save for? What do you need to budget if you're thinking about purchasing a home this year? It can all be a little bit scary. However, it doesn't have to be. If you understand the costs upfront, it might ease your concerns. So some of those costs include one, saving up for a down payment. That might be top of mind right now. Now there's a myth that you need 20% down in order to purchase a home. That's not necessarily true. If you connect with me early in the process, I can connect you with a lender who will help you understand the different loan options that are available and help you figure out what's gonna work best for you. Two, closing costs. When you purchase a home, you also need to plan on closing costs. These are costs that you incur at the end of the transaction. You pay at close. And these are a lot of different costs that go to various parties. Uh, one can be a recording fee. Another can be property taxes. There might be HOA setup fees. There's also attorney fees. So there's a lot of different fees involved. These are called closing costs, and they can typically be two to 5% of the mortgage amount. So you want to make sure that you save up that dollar amount and be prepared for those costs at close. And then three, and I'm going to combine these two here in North Carolina, we have a due diligence fee, which is paid directly to the seller. That is non-refundable if a buyer backs out. I have another video that uh, really goes into detail on due diligence. If you have questions on due diligence, reach out to me or check out that video. Um, but the due diligence fee is paid to the seller and that is non-refundable if you back out. And then there's an earnest money deposit that is paid to the escrow agent, typically the closing attorney. In a normal market, this is one to 2% of the purchase price. But if you're in a competitive situation, these dollar amounts can be a lot higher. At the end of the transaction, when you're closing, both the due diligence and the earnest money come back to you and they're essentially uh, considered a deposit. So they get deducted from your total, the total that you owe at the end of the transaction. Hopefully that information is helpful to you. If you have more questions on saving for a home, searching for a home, or buying a home in the Raleigh-Durham area, don't hesitate to reach out. If you're thinking about relocating to the area, and making a move to the Raleigh-Durham area, check out my YouTube channel, Welcome to Raleigh. There's a lot of great videos on that, on that channel. There's information about the area, there's community tours, city tours, um, information on the real estate market, more buyer tips and seller tips. If you, I look forward to talking to you again soon, and I hope you have a great day.